Anyway, let's do a show. Uh, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> and I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about climate change, motherfucker. I'm talking about the climate. It's changing. And it's not changing in a good way. I've got the CNN article here. Uh, dangerously high temperatures will last through the weekend with millions of Americans set to experience triple digit heat. Um, pfft. folks, in Europe, I believe I, I read somewhere that Spain was reaching 59 degrees centigrade. What? England and the UK hitting upwards of 42, I believe, centigrade. What? Or was it 32? I think it was 42. I don't know. It was one. It was really hot. Um, I forget which one was the, the barrier because I'm bad with numbers. Uh, and I'm stupid. But anyway, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> and I'm not talking about me. Oh, I already said that. More than 85% of Americans are bracing for temperatures above 90 degrees Fahrenheit through the weekend, with millions in the south central U.S. expected to experience readings in the triple digits. More than 100 million people are under various heat alerts Thursday in more than two dozen states from part of the American West to New England, a suffocating cocoon that exp experts believe will become increasingly common due to the effects of climate change. Oh, you don't fucking say? You don't fucking say? Huh. <laughs> Folks, I'm not going to lie. Reading this story, I'm going to turn my air conditioner on. I'm getting a little hot. And I'm not talking about me. Eh? Uh, yeah. Anyway. Got that air conditioner on. Um. Widespread high temperatures in the mid to upper 90s and low 100s. This is all in Fahrenheit because Americans are stupid and use Fahrenheit. Uh. Will now encompass a majority of the country on Thursday and Friday. The National Weather Service warned Wednesday. The areas at the highest risk of the dangerously hot temperatures span the southwest, central, and south central U.S. Along with the coastal mid-Atlantic regions and the northeast. The Weather Service noted. The distressing heat wave has pushed state and local leaders to issue heat emergencies. Can we talk about, like, how many, like, hundreds of people die every year uh, in these heat waves from, like, heat stroke, lack of water, you know, that kind of stuff. How many people die every year? And then, like, the government's like, no, we can do. I heard that Joe Biden's planning on declaring a quote-unquote climate emergency. Has that happened yet? I read that last week that he was thinking about maybe, possibly, instructing someone somewhere to do something about something, uh, to write a resolution, to write a letter about declaring something to be something that they should be looking into in the future. I heard that, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's happened yet. Um, but anyway, like the government doesn't care about whether or not you live or die. They don't give a fuck. I mean, 40,000 people die every year in car crashes. Government doesn't fucking care, right? How many people have died from COVID? Over a million, right? Like, probably, like, 1.3 million or so. We don't even know because the counting has been so fucked up recently, right? No one cares. Like, I need you to understand nobody fucking cares, right? Nobody at all. Your mom doesn't care. Your dad doesn't care. Your uncle doesn't care. Your teacher doesn't care. You're fucking, I don't know, someone else that you look up to in any way. They don't care. The only people that care are the people that have no power. And the people that have the power don't fucking care. No one cares. Right? Joe Biden doesn't fucking care. You think Joe Biden cares? Do you think any of the 100 senators care other than Bernie Sanders? Doubt. Nope. Nope. Doubt it. Um, like, again, we're just fucked. And to be very clear, not in the good dick way. At all. We're fucked. Like, it's, it's being a young person, being 26 in this time period, it's very strange, right? Like, I have to live the rest of my life with the idea that the world is literally going to collapse and there's nothing that anyone wants to do about it. That's what's weird about being in this, like, era is, like, th this era is, is uniquely interesting because we have, like, all these big societal questions, right? Like, oh, how do we fix climate change? Oh, how do we fix healthcare? Oh, how do we fix our food? Oh, like, they all have answers, right? Like, all of these questions have been answered. It's just that no one is willing to implement the answers. 
Oh, how do we fix climate change? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we don't... Do you want to do that? Nah. How do we fix our diets in this country? 95% of this country doesn't eat vegetables. How do we fix that? Eh, well, you know, we just look at a nutrition chart. Nah. You think they had nutrition labels 200 years ago? They would fucking... 200 years ago, they would have had great fucking success with nutrition labels. Oh, you know, there's a deadly pandemic. Should we, like, do anything about... Nah. Oh, people are sick with preventable diseases? Nah, fuck it. All of the questions... The big questions in our society right now, the answers have existed for decades. Like, in the 1970s, we knew the answer to climate change. Has anyone done anything? Nah. Isn't that, the, isn't that crazy? Like, a hundred years ago, these motherfuckers were like, Whoa, there's an airplane! Like, you know, they were trying to develop the answers to fix society. Right? And then they did. And like the fucking 60s and 70s, they answered most of these questions. And then they're like, oh shit, alright, society's gonna be great now. They submitted their work. And then everyone else was like, what? We don't care. <laughs> like, isn't that crazy? It's insane. Anyway, uh, how many people are gonna die this year? Does anyone want to play a game? I'm guessing 150 people in the, uh, in the US and Canada will die from uh, heat stroke or other illness uh, this year. That's my bet. You know, over, under. Anyone want to play? Over, under. Let's put some money on the table. Let's at least make this fucking hell world interesting. 